everybody, Rebecca Louise, and if you haven't spotted Alfie yet, he is right there. Alfie, so he's not even looking at me. Won't even look. He's like been put on the stool, the naughty step. Okay, so Molly, this one is for you. We're going to be working those bingo wings. We're going to be doing a little bit of back, a little bit of chest as well. So I want you to pick up your weights. Now I'm using eight pounds here, so you want to use something that's got a little bit resistant, and the last few reps are going to be quite challenging. Okay, so you're going to have your feet hip distance apart. Bend those knees, tuck those hips underneath, and we're just going to start with a nice, easy bicep curl. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to have the elbows in towards your waist, and we're going to bring it all the way up and then all the way down. So we've got 10 minutes of working those arms. We're not going to have any rest. We're going to keep going. Okay, so it's really important that you're using a weight that is heavy enough, okay, but not something that you're going to, you know, drop on your toes. You want to make it challenging. You've got to challenge your body to be able to make it change. Isn't that right, Alfie? Yes, that's right. Okay, that's it. Squeeze all the way in and then down. Just doing a light tap on those, those thighs and then bring it up and doing a tap on those shoulders. Okay, so what I want you to do is this time you're going to come up to halfway and then you're going to drop all the way down. So I'm making sure that my hips are tucked underneath. I've got a slight bend in that knee and I'm really starting to build up those bicep muscles. Okay, just nice and slow. You can come with me, just steady, steady and easy pace. And that's it. And always breathing in and out. Okay, so we're going to bring it all the way up to the top and then halfway down. So touch it and then that's it. Just squeeze to make it a right tangle. That's it. You got this guys. Just think, oh my goodness, how you want your arms to look. Do you want to get rid of those bingo wings? It's going to happen for you. You just got to keep believing. And the most important thing is that you have the right foods after you work out. So it's going to repair your muscles, burn off that fat, and of course, build those lean muscles. Okay, so holding it here, we're going to squeeze in and out. Okay, so I'm not coming all the way out to the side. It's just a 45 degree angle. Okay, those biceps are really starting to burn. I know that you can feel it, but we need to keep pushing through. And if you can't feel the burn right now, you need to just increase your weight just a little bit. Okay, so we're going to come back here and we're going to alternate. Just for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, you got this, 3, 2, 1. Back to the middle, okay, and then just little ones, up and down. And this is the burn, it's really happening, I know you can do this, make sure you do hashtag, I can feel the burn. Rebecca, after you've done this workout, but just keep going for another 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Four, three, two, one. Okay, great job. Just rotate those shoulders for me. I know those biceps are burning. And now we're gonna to start to work on those triceps, okay? So really helping with those bingo wings. I want you to take both of your weights, okay, and put it over, the, over your head. And as you can see from the side, I've got my hips tucked under, slight bend in the knee, and I'm just gonna drop my forearms and then coming back up so it's straight. So just keep squeezing. Alfie, how are you doing today? You really helped with this workout, didn't you? And this workout, guys, is for Holly. So thank you, Holly, for recommending bingo wings. This one is for you. Okay, so let's go for another five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, gently bring them down. And then staying in that same position, just bend your knees slightly. And we're gonna bring those weights up to the shoulders. And then we're gonna extend all the way back out. So bring it in and then out, and you want your palms to be facing each other, okay? So it's not this way, they're gonna be facing each other. We bring it in, and then extend all the way out. And I want you to just do an extra lift on the way back. So as you go here, lift that last inch, and then come back. That's it, squeeze those arms, and keep smiling, enjoy it. These exercises are just 10 minutes long, you can get through them, everyone can do it. And if you just need to drop the weights at any time, no problem. Okay, so let's hold it out of the back and we're just gonna do a static hold. Okay, so squeeze those, that back muscle, squeeze those arms, lift a little bit higher for five, four, three, two, one. Now bring them in. Okay, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, bring it back to your chest. And what I want you to do is you're just going to come out to the side one at a time. So you're having your feet a little bit closer together, still keep that bend, and we're just going to bring it out to the side. 
So really using the underneath of the arm to bring you up. You've got this, keep pushing, just keep trying just a little bit more. When you feel like giving up, that's when you just wanna keep going. Those results are gonna happen. And how good is it when you feel a little bit sore the next day? That means that you did something, okay? It means that you work those muscles and tax the muscles and you just need now them to be able to grow and build. And that's done with the right nutrition. That's it, let's do another five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, great job. We're gonna go back to a little bit more of those triceps. So we're gonna do one at a time, okay? So you can either drop this weight on the ground or if you just wanna hold it there just for you know a little bit more calorie burn, a little bit more burn, okay? So you're gonna hold here and you're gonna extend out to the back. But this time you're just gonna bring it in here. You're not gonna bring it all the way to your shoulder. Okay, so you extend and here. That's it, and you wanna try and lift up at the end. So you're here, you're just gonna do that one extra inch. That's what's gonna make the difference, okay? So let's extend out, bring it up for another inch, and then in. Good job, everyone. Keep it going. That's it. Look at your muscles too. Look how well they're working. You're gonna see the changes in your body. So let's keep it going. Try and keep that head forward. And four, three, two, lift it up higher. And then the last one, hold it here and then squeeze. Little pulses up in the air. Really straighten that arm out at the back. Get it nice and high. Work in those triceps for five, four, three, two, one. Okay, other arm. I'm gonna turn around so you can see here. I'm still gonna keep this weight in the hand because if you did it on the first side, you definitely wanna keep the weight in your hand for the second time to make sure that you don't go lopsided. Okay, so extending that arm out. That's it, lift it higher. I don't want you to just see it here. I want you to extend all the way out and then lift that extra inch as you get to your final lengthen. So lengthen, lift up. That's it guys, we have got this. We're gonna get rid of those bingo wings, feeling amazing, and then keep breathing. That's it guys, five, four, and three, two, and one. Okay, now hold it here, and we're just gonna pulse at the top. So small motion, try and keep that arm nice and straight for me. You've got this, five, four, Three, two, one. Okay, rotate those shoulders, come into the front. So just like we extended out to the side, I want you to extend straight forward. Okay, so you really wanna tuck your hips underneath, keep that core nice and tight, and then extend those arms up. Really think about using the underneath of your arm to lift up. You're feeling so good, guys. I know that you can feel the burn, but I don't want you to give up yet. We've gotta get through the whole workout. Burning those arms for 10 minutes. You just think if you just do this every day, you follow the calendar, you get plugged in with the Kickstart program, you're gonna get amazing, amazing results and feel super confident. And Alfie is always there to help you and motivate you. I mean, look, he's had some really amazing words throughout this workout. How are you feeling, Alfie? He looks tired. Okay, let's go for 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, great job. You're gonna drop one weight down, okay? And what you're gonna do is you're just gonna lift out to the side and then back down. So working on those biceps again. So squeezing up and down. Okay, we've only got 60 seconds left to go. You can make it. This is gonna be the hardest part, but I want you guys to get through. Switch over to the other arm, just giving that arm a little bit of a rest. That's it. Squeeze those hips underneath. Bring that weight all the way up to your shoulder and drop it down. Three more. Two, one. Okay, you're gonna finish strong with me. The last exercise, we're gonna bring it back over the top of our head, okay? But we're gonna use two weights. We're not gonna cross them together. And we're just gonna dip down and then come back up again. Really try and keep those arms parallel. And you're just using the forearm of your muscles to, to, uh, to move that arm. So where your tricep is and where those bingo rings, that's staying really, really still. Oh, I can feel the burn here, guys. Keep it going. 
Let's do five, four, three, two, one. Now hold it here. That's it. Squeeze those hips underneath. Drop those shoulders down. You can start to really, really feel it in those, those bingo wings. But just think about it. The more muscle that you're creating right now, where you can feel that burn, it means that that, that fat, that flab is just going to fall right off. Let's finish with some pulses. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and release. Oh my goodness, my arms are on fire. Alfie, give me a paw. Give me a paw. Give me a paw. Oh, we got there in the end. Brilliant. <laughs> there you are. Alfie gave me a high five. I'm going to give you guys a high five because you did amazing. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Check out the downloadable Kickstarter DVD that you can get on your phone. You don't need internet connection. It's amazing. It's going to get you great results. My name is Rebecca Louise. I'll see you guys again soon.